Good morning, Cougars, and welcome to your 2022 video yearbook. This year has been filled with awesome and exciting events, so let's recap all the great moments we shared together. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. As we all gathered on the football field to take our group photo, it was filled with such bittersweet feelings. This picture has been a cougar tradition for many years. We started off our homecoming festivities with our first spirit week of the year. We were definitely proud to be a cougar this week, leaving our identities behind to match different themed spirit days. The New Dorp Central Cougars faced due at Clinton High School in the 2022 homecoming game. The New Dorp boys football team, led by their seniors, crushed due at Clinton 38-0. The halftime sure did lift up our spirits with an exciting performance by our varsity cheer squad. Senior superstars Donna Hercules and Dominic Peterson were crowned homecoming royalty, winning the 2022 title of homecoming king and queen. senior breakfast we enjoyed exquisite breakfast sandwiches and we picked up our senior sweats which chose off the design that took many senior council meetings to battle it out and settle on a design. It was also a great send off to the new year starting with our new neuter gear.
Who do you consider to be your role models? The health science teachers, but specifically Ms. Brown, she's always pushed me and inspired me to be better, and Mr. Burton has always been there for me. Varsity Boys Soccer, coached by Brett Malamed and led by seniors Devin Ardolik, Et John Bundo, Ronald Golder, Alan Morocho Tenisak, Timur Saifut Dinov, Eric Sang, Leon Yusupov, had a wonderful season with eight wins and one tie. Girls Varsity Soccer, led by Elizabeth Kanaka and seniors Ryan Brown, Noor Jabber, Daisy Jacobo, Rebecca Karayev, Jessica Miller, Lauren Casada, Chloe Reich, Sasha Vaisman, and Maya Yakir had a great season with seven wins. The girls volleyball team led by Victoria Torricelli and the seniors Lisa Dakash, Victoria Dynak, Anika Jashbarash, and Mali Tsang were third on the island with nine wins. The Varsity Boys Bowling team, led by Coach Amella, had a rough season but still gave it their all winning several games. Seniors include Matthew Brown, Tyler DeLuca, Michael Odessa, and Matthew Tapia. This year's girls varsity bowling team, led by coach Alyssa Wilde Bruno, included seniors Sue Denitzer, Victoria Cancian, and Kiara Shea. The girls finished first on the island. They won eight games with only one loss this season.
The girls' varsity tennis team, coached by Elmira Duca and led by seniors Nicole Krasinski, Rochelle Ochtenberg, and Emilia Scrivani, placed second on the island. Tis the season to be spirited. The holidays were extremely merry at Newdorp. We had our fourth annual Newdorp Winter Spirit Week Spectacular. We dressed up in our winter gear, holiday pajamas, and ugly sweaters. Teachers also decorated their classroom and office door in the 2022 Door Decor Competition. This was also the season of giving with our fundraiser for St. Jude's Children's Hospital, shoveling for seniors, our SLC toy drive, and our Interact Coat Drive. Happy Holidays! Happy holidays. Happy holidays. We want Barrett Square. What's up, jerks? Assistant, uh, get those pictures spread out for me. And some coffee too, why The 2022 sing was an absolute hit. Our sing senior soft lit the stage with the witching hour themed show, ending in a shocking tie. It was surely a night we will never forget. <laughs> So where do you see yourself in 10 years from now? In 10 years from now, I see myself working in a hospital as a physician assistant. The girls' indoor track team, led by Maura Brown and the seniors Sophia Da, Asleen English, Justina Hanane, and Ami Silah, 
The boys' indoor track team, led by Luis Cruzate and Dean Gruski, along with the seniors Matthew Amato, Nicholas Delacaccio, William Fernandez, Robert Offenberg, and John Pollock, PR'd and medaled, breaking their own records. Girls basketball, led by Frank Guglielmo, with seniors Dior Dorsey, Isabella Gonzalez, Victoria Cancian, Victoria Rowland, Kiara Shea, and Victoria Verone, had 11 wins and finished second on the island. Boys varsity basketball, coached by Patrick Hopkins, led by seniors Abel Alvardo, Benjamin Barrow, Kenneth Finizzi, Isaiah Gibson, Adam Gutman, Angel Mejia, Miguel Negron, Johnny Nisbet, Romal Reed, Isaiah Singer, and Jose Zeferino Morano worked very hard this season and look forward to next. The girls varsity gymnastics team, led by coach Janine Zagari and senior Ryan Brown, won 15 games this season. Where do you plan on going to college? Uh, Hofstra University with a major in business marketing, so I could hopefully get a job in marketing after college. The boys varsity baseball team, coached by Raymond Smith. Seniors include Christopher Angel, Matthew Asma, Joshua Cassiano, Vincent Camerata, Ryan Deitch, John Disperenza, Landon Levine, Michael Melillo, Miguel Negron, Ryan Quinn. They finished third on the island. The girls softball team led by coach Brett Malamed and the seniors Madison Fugazi, Jacenia Rivera and Malisha Sang had a young team and looked forward to next season.
The varsity boys lacrosse team, coached by Jonathan Segari, includes seniors Javid Brown, Christopher DePaulo, Anthony DeSimone, Abdiel Gonzalez, Anthony Howe, James Howe, Osmond Masculi, Tobias Tolbert, Riley Weinstock, and Jonathan Vitelli fought hard and kept a competitive edge throughout the season. Girls Varsity Lacrosse, led by Nicholas Mangiri and seniors Julia Kolpak, Penelope Morales, and Mia Mascarinos, had a rebuilding year and put their best foot forward. The boys outdoor track team led by Luis Cruzate and seniors Jason Acosta, Matthew Amato, Nicholas Delacaccio, and John Pollock continued to show progress in PR all season long. The girls outdoor track team led by Maura Brown and seniors Sofia Da, Esleen English, Justina Hemain, Nora Jobber, Victoria Santiago, and Ami Silla showed amazing progress in PR this season. The boys tennis team led by Alexandra Mella and senior Edward Ravitsky were second on the island. The girls varsity golf team led by coach Krista Forty and senior Lei Wang finished third on the island. The varsity stunt team, led by coaches Almira Duca and Brittany Hogan, with seniors Diana Cooney, Donna Hercules, and Grace Lefkovich, left their mark by helping completely rebuild their team. On the special day, we wore red, and each SLC participated in their own form of fundraising that included showing each other love and appreciation. Happy Valentine's Day! Happy Valentine's Day! A spectacular performance made by students from many different countries, with the Suavemente, Polish dance, Italian extravaganza, Ukrainian song, K-pop fiasco, ultimate fashion show, and much more. It was a show filled with love and fun.
The Black Box Theater 2021-2022 season was big on romantic comedy. Love Sick was performed in March of 2022. I mean, we're setting ourselves up for failure. Wait, what? Because chances are we're not going to make it, you know? Sweetheart, there's an alert function. You could have set an alert. Evan, look, I'm sorry. It's just, how do you think I found it, Liz? Can we please drop that, please? There it is. Right there, I found it. There I am. Spring has sprung at Newdorp and our spirit has yet to die out. We started off the spring season with our springtime spirit week, which included pajama day, twin day, runway day, Newdorp pride day, and springtime day. Happy pajama day! Happy pajama day! Happy pajama day! Our prep rally started with Grace Lefkovich singing our national anthem, followed by our student union president Shania Moses' speech, which helped support our spring sports. At the end of April, our college office threw us a celebration where we got to show off our college acceptances. Good luck to everyone in the future. Offshore University. Sudi Maritime. CSI. Wagner. York PA. Lansing. Wagner. Lansing. Wagner. Penn State. Plattsburgh. Sophie Davis School of Biomedical Education. Stony Brook University. CSI. Glenser College. CSI. An event where mainly students got to show their achievements in the form of art. Several people also dressed up and expressed their love for a life of comics and graphic novels surrounding anime and superheroes. We finally hit the seniors at the barbecue when we were all received our yearbooks, remembering all the great memories of the past year that we will never forget. It was a bittersweet end to the year of memories. This truly was the end of an epic era.
<laughs> prom is always a big celebration for the seniors. This year's prom theme was Masquerade. It was a magical perfect night that none of us will ever forget. We were a suave and debonair class. We proved that we were growing up and ready for it all. Prom night was truly enchanting, with students Ethan Mendenhall and Taylor Minicapelli winning Prom King and Prom Queen. Graduation is a time to celebrate our accomplishments and to say goodbye to Newdorp. It shows us how Newdorp really shaped all of our graduates and the impact that it had on us. Special thanks to Miss DeAngelis for all her love and support throughout the years. We will never forget Newdorp. Thank you for everything. Among all the things we have learned these past four years, 
The one lesson we all have in common is that nothing is guaranteed and there isn't a single thing in this world that should be taken for granted. Miss DeAngelis traveled over the bridge where she became the principal of Newdorp High School and was our fearless leader for the past 23 years. Combine the skills that you've learned in the classroom with hands-on real-life experiences and internships so you can identify what you are most passionate about. You look up and down streets, look them over with care. About some you will say, I don't choose to go there. All alone, whether you like it or not, alone will be something you'll be quite a lot. When things start to happen, don't worry, don't do. Just go right along and you will start happening too. People spend a lifetime trying to figure out who they are. And we have students living here today who already know. That's what makes New York so special, and that's what makes this group of graduates so amazingly special. The Armed Forces would like to thank New York High School, its leadership, faculty, and support staff for creating, operating, and maintaining an outstanding environment in which these highly motivated and talented candidates can prosper. Riley Wansak. AJ Gonzalez. Anthony Torino. Asia Witwa Manayaka. James Coyle, Daniel Gorlick, James Ubi, Maggie Resnick, Matthew Brown, Isabel Schickman, Noelle Rose Proctor, John Devergenic, and guidance counselor Natalie Gonzalez, Chris Falcon, Nurbat Gianna Morales Neri. With, with gratitude to my school, with pride in my city, and with devotion to my country, I pledge to cherish the traditions of New York High School, to strive to fulfill my potential, and to improve my community, my city, and my country. With the powers vested in me by the New York State Board of Regents and the City of New York, I now Class of 2022, the ceremony is over, the festivities begin. I hope you're celebrating somewhere. I, can, I want to congratulate you. I want to tell you how very proud I am of you, of all that you have accomplished, over the obstacles, through the bumps in the road. You did it anyway. Our road awaits for us, our new journey, both you and I, and I know that we can do this. So um, I will miss you, I will miss this. But there are brighter and newer roads ahead to travel. So um, be well, keep in touch, and, um, and know that you will remain in my heart always. Love you. With senior year coming to a close, let's take a moment to remember something our former principal, Miss DeAngelis, had said to us many years ago at our freshman orientation. She expressed that while four years may seem like a long time, it will be over within the blink of an eye. And while we refuse to admit it, she was right. We have grown into amazing and smart adults with bright futures ahead of us in what seems like days rather than years. Despite all our setbacks, we as a class persevered. We made the most of the time we had within this building, creating memories, friendships, and learning lessons that will last a lifetime. Congratulations to the class of 2022. You have made it, and now it is our turn to take the world by storm. Let's go Cougars.